Around four or five years ago, the Polaroid Cube that you see here was fairly popular and it sold for around $300. Just recently, I found this one for sale on Amazon for only $20 shipped. The reason why it was so cheap, the internal lithium ion battery no longer holds a charge because it was sitting on the shelf for so long. So in this video, I'll be opening up this cube and replacing the lipo cell inside. Newer cube cameras that are being sold also have internal lipo cells, so what you see in this video can also be helpful for other cube cameras as well. Let's get started. Take that out. And here it is, a nice little cube. It's got this rubberized coating. That's the power button with the LED. Back here you take a coin or a key, unscrew this, it's a waterproof cover or water resistant cover. And behind that is the SD card and the USB jack for charging. Down here is a magnet so you could stick this on the roof of your car or anywhere else. It's a strong neodymium. And the problem is right now if you push this and hold, it will not turn on even after charging it. So let me just open the back just to show you. Unscrew this. And you can see over here, memory card slot. You can switch between 720p and 1080. And right here is your USB charging port. So if I plug into that right here, you can see it powered up. All right. And went from yellow to green. So it does work fine, but if you leave this charging for like four or five hours and come back and you separate this, you go to power it up, you get absolutely nothing. So 100% the battery is cooked. So in order to open this, the first thing we have to do is pull off this front cover. Take this tool and just get under it. Let's pry it away. Okay, it's kind of sticky under there. You can see there's four screws. And here's the rear side of that faceplate. Now I'm going to take a Phillips. Okay. Now, let's see if I could set, pull this apart. You can see there's a space right here above that rainbow band. I'm going to get my single edge razor blade and shove it in there. Just be careful when you do this that you don't cut yourself. Oh, I just snapped back. Okay. Now let's try it. That is tight, guys. That is really on there. It's not easy. This side's ready to go. You gotta separate this side and both shells will separate. Let me keep working that right there. Okay, getting it, finally, there we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good, separated now. So let's just, that's one side. Right here we can see it looks like maybe uh, RF shielding foil tape wrapped around the light. Oh, there's actually two lipos on here. There's one here and one there. Pull this off the bottom. There's a seal. Right here is like a notch where that goes. Careful, this has to go back. Okay. One side is bigger than the other, so it's easy to know which way it goes. Right here you can see it's just two lithium polymer cells in parallel. This side has wires going to the board, and then from this cell here, you have two wires, a black and a red, going to this one here. So both are in parallel to increase the milliamp hour capacity to give the camera more runtime. So let me peel off this tape first. Not easy when you cut your fingernails way down. I don't want to damage this because it's going to be going back on at the very end. Yep. Perfect. Let's just keep going with this. Okay, I have a bunch of these 
in different sizes, but this is an oddball size. A little bit of modifying to get the new cells to go in there perfectly. Let me see, let's take this one away first. Let's just pull this away from the side of the camera. Oh, that separated very easy. Okay, so this is a 240 milliamp hour cell, and it's a 402424. So 40 means that this cell is four millimeters thick, 24 millimeters by 24 millimeters. I'm not going to have the exact size, so let's see what I can do here. And this is a very heavy wire here, going to that one side. Let's pull this side apart. So this is what we have right there. The lipo cells I have are these right here. And you can see they're also four millimeters in thickness, 20 millimeters in width, so they are a little narrower and they're a little longer. So I think I can get them to fit right in there. We're gonna find out. Let's put these to the side. This Captain Tape is pretty strong stuff. I don't wanna cut the lipo, just wanna trim this. That should let me tear it now, good. Let's just trim this positive off. And the negative. Get rid of this. With this cell removed, you can see right over here we have a white, red, and black wire going to that board on this lipo cell. The new lipo cell only has two wires going to it. So I'm going to have to desolder the board on this lipo cell, reinstall it on the new lipo cell, and then the other lipo cell that has the board on it, we're going to remove that and solder the red and black directly to the lipo cell. So let me pull this apart a little bit more so we can get in here. I need to separate this from the positive on the cell. So let's just try this first. Let me take the red wire off. Let's take off this black wire. Now, I need to take this off of the lipo cell. You know the easiest way to do this? Is to trim it right here and just wipe off the end. So what I would do is I would go, pull it out a little bit, just get right in between there and cut. All right, that's one side. And by doing that, now I can just take this and wipe it off. See? Wiped it away nice and clean. This side now I don't have to cut. I could just go like this and it should come right off. Yep. So this board is ready to go for the new lipos. Let's put this to the side. The next thing I did was remove the tape from this end of the lipo cell. And you can see right here, it's spot welded to the board and spot welded here. I'm going to identify which side is positive, write it on the battery very gently using a marker. And then I'm going to cut very cleanly just below each one of the spot welds. Right here is the lipo cell in position just below the bottom here, which is fine. It will still close. The only problem is the very top is a little longer. So once this is soldered to this board and the two wires head over to the opposite side to place the other cell in parallel, I'm gonna need to fold this whole top edge down that way. So it's gonna end up in this area right here. And by doing that, it will be within the limits allowing this to close. So let me get this soldered on. Right here you can see the lipo cell is now soldered in position. The positive also has the red wire going to the opposite side. And on the negative we also have the black wire leading to the other cell. Now what I need to do is take this end very carefully, fold it over this way. So when it's in here it will lay flat right in this position. Right here is the lipo cell in position with the Kapton tape 
you can see it wraps on this side, over, under the other side, and down the side of the cell. This will definitely close. Right there you can see. And it sticks flush with the bottom. So that's perfect. So now let's go to the opposite side. The next step is to take the other cell which is all ready to go. The board has been removed. You can see the positives identified. I'm going to position this on the opposite side and I'm going to bend it in the same way. Solder the positive to the positive, negative to the negative, wrap it in Kapton tape, and then we're going to do the full wrap again, put the metal shield on, and then give it a try. In case you're wondering, there's not going to be any interference in this area or the button because I already examined the inside of the cover. Both LiPo cells are now in position. There should not be any issue with the covers going back on. And you can see the foil tape is back in position. Back inside, everything is seated perfectly, the gasket all the way around. The top should go on perfectly, so let's see. Hopefully. Yep, look at that. That went together perfect. Perfecto. Snap together nicely. Let me put the four screws back in. Now back together. Let me get one drop on my lens tissue. Gently rub over the lens. And take a dry spot. Okay, that is ready. This goes back with the little microphone opening towards this end. And that is it. Let's push the button. Yeah, there we go. Now we power up. Before it would not power up. Probably an indication there's no SD card or the battery voltage is low. So let me plug this in and see if it goes off. Yep. And now we're charging. Let me let this fully charge up, put a card in, and make sure it works. As you can see, the green LED is now on. That means the battery is fully charged. Now let me install the SD Micro. Okay, it's on 1080p. Put this back in there. Rotate this clockwise. All right, let's take this outside and see how good the video quality is. As you just saw, the video quality for this camera is pretty good. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching.